quite the shame because this was all just put together and everything, but it's all right. Huzzah, in the name of science. I got the wrong pair of colors. Next, we're going to pop the steering rack off. So that's going to require some number 19 love. So we'll implement some number 19 love. Down to the bottom over here. Color pin on the top of that, there's not. of the front strut does the brake thing go to? It's in here. It's in this corner. So it goes to the back yeah. left so it goes on the it inside. It goes towards the tab. It points it directly towards the inside. It points directly towards that little tab. See, we're just slowly hammering the sucker around. Trying to get the last bit we need.
really annoying. We'll come back to her later.
it's literally bending my fucking fucking sway bar or that fucking steering rack just will not disconnect. I'm probably gonna just disconnect this end link and swap them. They're both new. Shouldn't matter. It just will not come off. Okay, just open that one. That should yeah. lock that and then you can twist the bar after that. Can you hand me the adjustable above my head? Should be on the desk side. Never is loose. <laughs> Loosen from what direction though? The back side? That way. So it needs to go up that way. Counter clock ones. Yeah, that ball joint's boot's already been ripped from me hammering on it. It's fucking annoying. Thing just would not come out. Yeah, 
those pickle bars are kind of brutal on the bear were the ones that the actually spreaders. The spreaders. Yeah, I was literally thinking that, but I was gonna find open right now, so. <laughs> easier to split the ball joints when you've got the axle all bolted up to the hub. I already, I already tried splitting it. I took it apart because I thought maybe the angle wasn't going to let me do it. I thought maybe the angle of it was just keeping me together, but... That's not coming off. You have to spray it up with... You sure that's tight? You sure that's not loosening? Are you sure that's tight? You sure that's you not double tightening? Check? You're actually threading it onto the bar and not off of the bar. That's why. turn or two just to give yourself room. And then what do I do? Now you're going to turn the bar itself so you need the spanner on the bar. There's a lock, see there's a dimple in it right there and you turn the bar and that winds it out of the ball joint. Gotcha. Should be winding out now is it? it yeah. Is. Uh, they make ball, they make steering rack pliers like that, yep. flat nose pliers specifically for yep. steering racks. So, yeah, I've got the struts on. I've got the freaking. I'm about to get you your front right corner. Steering rack on. Here's your caliper. Okay. Here's, here's your other bolt. Here's your other one. Just take those for now, and I'll give you the rest when you come back. This is your bolt for the steering rack. This is the bolt and the hardware for the top. We might need to find a new one. It got made for, for the top of the, it's the top bolt for the hub. I've got two for that. That one's pretty mangled. So it might, right, the I've bolt got, might. I've already sorted out the bolts okay. and washers. Oh, well, we're gonna need a new one for Pepper anyway. So leave her around, she's mangled. And this goes on the ball joint? Yeah. She's ball joint. Uh, what, would be, what would be the easier way of doing it? Yeah, well, what would be? I'm starting to think about this. Let's take this one out first. Which one? This back one. That's the one I'm do first. You don't want to take the hub. No, no, the hub's staying on the swing arm, right? Yeah. Before you do that, you might want to disconnect the sway bar. This is passenger
new ball joint. Just leave the ball joint on the other side as well and I'll give you a new ball joint for that one too. Once I drop it, it'll come out. Sorry? Once I drop that, it'll, it'll come, come out. out. Yeah. yeah. What do I need next? I need... What do I need, my friend? I need a 17, it looks like. It looks like a 17. Slide that back over. You're a 19, you cockamamie little fuck. Hey, Dad.
So first, the brake line in the back. Oh God, went swimming. Sometimes you're the swimmer, sometimes you're the fish. Hey, can you grab me some blue rag? Little shithead. Light. Yep. You want it? And we've got another one. Oh, there, I've got a headlamp sitting on the desk if you want a headlamp. Just on the wrong side of the car. Come take this one. I, I don't need it. You don't need it? No, I can see it. This light's right above my head, so I can see quite a bit. Yeah, I'm on the dark side of the car. No, you're good. There you go. <coughs>
Teeth though.
some off. I'll drive. Almost kind of loose. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
second nose. So, take this out of the way. Take this off the sway bar. You got a spanner for the sway bar. You know, with nuts on the other side. Take that out. Seventeen. Can't remember which one. Hey, you fucker! Drop it into the suit. Drop it in the fucking wheel. This is not a suit pan. Under the wheel somewhere. We're gonna have to. That is the very first thing I put into the air when I normally do it. I usually put this in okay. here. That's why I've got this. 
underneath. So you can pivot that. It's not gonna fucking pivot. The other one was loose. The other one was loose. Yeah. So lift. I'll lift you put the bolt in. Bolt goes from this side in. Where's the bolt at? It's in the other end, yeah. and my suspension's in the way on this end. I've got to lift this out of the way because that fucking thing won't, won't turn. turn. No, don't put that bolt in there, it goes the other way. Can I just leave it? We'll just put it Right there. Now put the bolt from the other side. I'm gonna have to maneuver it to get that. There we go. I'm gonna get it. It needs straight. to come down. It needs like that, and then it still needs to come. Where's that pry bar at? Is it trying to go down? See, trouble is it can't come down because that's you know, the suspension in the way here. Let's get this out of the way. And lift this up. And that should get you should be able to move it down now. I need a pry bar. Where's the pry bar? Of course, this is the longest fucking pry bar I ever fucking made. Here, try that. It won't. Still there. Give me the pry bar. No, I got it right there. Hang on. It still needs to come down. You need to put your end up. Can't go any further up. There we go. Right that still needs to. That's as far up as I can go. There we go. It needs to be beat in. There's a little mallet line somewhere. Yahtzee. Okay, now. Where's the fastener for that one? We need the two bolts for the other one. They are. because you wouldn't be able to. Glasses. Only for a game. Come towards the back a little bit. This needs to, if it's your side needs to be like rotated to the right almost. But I need this, this way? to go that way. But you're gonna have a fun time doing that. It's because that mount doesn't move on the bracket. 
And then I got it. I got it. Put your sway bar in before we go too far. This is what I meant by you might be floating down Shit's Creek without a battle. Come on! Okay, there's a washer and a rubber. Go that way. You have to get that. At, you might have to go get the jack from outside. Or what you could do: use the ratchet strap and just hook the bottom of this, and then hook it to the top of the fender or something. Yeah. Don't go hurting your back, dude. Seriously, it's, you're not gonna be able to pick that up. Don't go hurting your back. Not even close. Not even close. Okay, so I'm gonna let it go so it's yep. gonna pop out. Yep. Oh, fuck it. Okay, so we need to jack that. Jack that or just grab that hook and hook it around and just grab the fender. The fender's trash. You know what I'm saying? Just hook There's the, nothing on the fender. Hook, hook the on. inner of the fender liner or hook the. Um, come down, come throw it in the engine bay and hook this fucking. I don't know, find something. It's about round there. Yep, he's round. <laughs> there is fuck all. Hey, fuck all. The great, the great Canadian fuck all up there. Alright, well, guess we'll get the jack then. Or we're gonna have to just fucking man mode this for a second. <coughs> we'll get the jack. Oh, you know what we can do? What? Let's lift it back up and put a trolley jack under it. There you go. Not under the hub, put it underneath this. Because I'm gonna use the pry bar on that fucking jack stand. Oh, I see what you mean. Let it down. Okay. Look at that pry bar. The big old monkey bar. Now let's move this in a bit. So it's flat. Oh, here's the big old. I got the big old monkey bar. Give it to me at this side. I can do it from this side. Yeah, try and snipe under it. Maybe it can't because it fucking break this. I, I think like you can. I think if you flip it upside down like that, I think they'll be able to do it. Go right down, right to the front. as high as you can. Okay. I don't know if this is going to work, brother. I need this to be inside the fucking jaws. There we go. No, I am going to fucking work. Oh, yeah. I think if we're gonna do this, we could probably do this too. Same time. The 
This thing's a piece of, you have to, you have to lower the angle. If you go at too steep of an angle, it won't do it. Then you yeah. still have to push into it, yep. This thing's a piece of garbage. There you go. Stop. You'd be better served putting it down, to be honest. Down? Yeah, it's, it's even worse now. It's just making the angle more extreme. You sure? Yeah. Thing's absolute shite. <sighs> this is why those bars were bent. Yep. I'm that, thinking that, it would jack it up. I, it does, but the thing is, this is such a stream angle of taking of this, it's pinching this and it won't let it see. But if this comes up, that angle should straighten out. It's not. Cause that's got a flat edge on it to get it in look yeah i understand it's just it's not straightening out it's staying it's staying at the extreme angle the entire time that's why that's why i was saying i usually do these first because if you don't do these first you end up all fucking ha hogwash doing it but we maybe could pull the retainer on the end of this but then we'd have to get the retainer back on which yeah, would be probably nice. harder than this yep so okay. let me just see something and jack it up again. Come further back this time. Further back for, I, guess I don't want to get the break this. Keep going. Stop there. Can you get a screw on it? Screw it up a bit. Maybe we did it the last one? Yep, I can. Uh, maybe. Can we go a little higher. further? Yeah, try to go higher. Why is this not threading? I'm not like a quarter of a thread here. This stupid fucking thing, come on. You've got plenty of thread to bite on, buddy. Come on. Go the wrong way around? No, it's literally just not fucking threading. Got like four four rolls of thread and it's just like, no, no, no. Forgot to put the finger in fucking forward mode, I don't know. It's that part of the night when nothing wants to work. Alright. Let the jack go and push directly on this piece of fucking rubber and jack right up, right yeah, up here. here. Why don't we put C clamp on it? Yeah, you got the C clamp, but it might just eat this bushing. Is what I'm comparing. Put the washer on and put a C clamp on it. Yeah. Yeah, we can go to go. There might be a C clamp on the desk over here still on the far right. Yep. Put the washer on it. We'll put the C clamp on the washer. Or better yet, 
Go grab me the over there on the far left. There's the the gun clamps. They're like the hanging on the left about my straight edge, right above the engine, behind the red tool cart. Yeah, well. Grab me the they're like the long sticks with a handle on the end of them. They're like they're the extending clamps that you can clamp with your hand. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Go grab me one of those off the wall. I don't think they're strong enough. I think they will be. Grab me one of the smaller ones. I don't know that'll fit, that's why. Because these are plastic, I don't know if they're strong enough. We'll see. These things have never failed me yet. right in the wrong place. That's what I was thinking. This would be easier to do. Got somewhere. Still gonna be, it's not going to work because you can't get the nut on at the same time as the clamp. The C clamps are a lot smaller, that's why I thought it might. You might be able to catch the edge of it, but even then, I don't know. Yeah, I'll hold this one, you just tighten it. I'll hold this one, you just tighten it. I just don't understand why this isn't biting a thread. I've got an entire two or three rows of thread and it's just not taking it. Do we have another one of those nuts? God, this is frustrating. Give it a nut. Let's see if we've got another one. I don't think it's the nut. The nut. The oh, impact? it's the wrong fucking nut, man. That's why. It's too big. That's why it hasn't gone on the whole fucking time. It's the wrong fucking nut. <laughs> I'm like, dude, I don't know why this isn't going on. Well, where did we lose the nut from? I don't know, man. There might be one on the jack right here. This might be the right one. No, this one's on the jack all fucking day. I don't know, buddy. What do we have in here? These were all the ones I set up out of the ones we had here, so that wasn't from that. We just pulled the wrong nut. Just go grab one at the pub, yeah. Oh, you know what that nut's for? I know what that big nut's for. What? It's for the end of this cross member bolt. Yep, that's what that's for. Put it on there. Has it got a washer on it? Yeah, just put it on. I was like, man, I don't think I'm fucking retarded. This thing will not go on here. I'm we, like, did. we never had the fucking nut for the end of the fucking... Yeah, because it broke off, remember? Broke off and went to fucking Narnia. Huh? That's what happened to that one. Well, we got plenty of nuts. It's just a case of what size is it supposed to be. It's something like that one. First off, I did. That's it? Oh, yeah. Like that one? <laughs> there you go. No, that's the wrong one. That's the one from the Dolly Jack still. Did that when I gave it to it? Yep. Yeah, I'm like, motherfucker, I'm like five or six threads on this thing and it just won't go on. And I'm like, huh, maybe it just isn't meant to fit. Maybe it's just the wrong one. Maybe it just, I don't know. Oh, what do you know it fit? <laughs> Where did that 17 go? Did I run it? Oh, it's back here. I see it. Oh, yeah. Okay.
before we do the next part, we want to do this too, though. Oh, fuck. No, we got to put this on first. We might have, no, yes. we might have shipped the bed already. Okay, so just, you got that nut on, but not tight, right? Yeah, we might have shipped Let's the bed already. Let's let this here. down. Let that down, yeah. Okay, we did ship the bed, all right. We're good. This okay. one goes on next. Uh, we might have very definitely shipped the bed. No, I would, I would do this one next. Or at least try to get, yeah, because this one can be, line that one up. Oh, it's this you got to turn. Yeah, line them both up at the same time. Get them kind of in the same area. If that wants to go there. The this one wants to go there. Ish. Turn yours up a little bit. Okay, so you can do these. I'm making your life hard. Do these first. I'm just worried about shit not lining up. Yeah, that's why all these fucking things are bent like shit. Super sure that it's solid. It's not sticking on it. Where's the magnet? It's got a break fucking. <laughs> That's why. Oh, uh, if you bump that, it could very well knock you out. So be careful. the 17 right now. That's yeah. the one that goes on the back end of mine. It definitely is. Let's get this jacket and put out of the way. Put your elbows. Oh, yeah, that's almost hurting it tight. Probably. Didn't have any when I took them off the other one. Probably should have done. Meeting. Sorry? And why isn't the steering rack meeting? It will. Give it till this forward? Because you probably moved it. Turned the other axle out. Maybe. <coughs> anyway, let's get this fucker back in. Maybe then. <coughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't do that. <laughs> Alright. some more leverage on that. There's a longer 3-8 ratchet in the Milwaukee box. Or you can just get a gun. I 
that's good. Yep, gotcha. Round ends aren't very great. You know, I just put that back in the other one. Okay, so. Yeah, you ready? Top one? Yeah. You probably put it on tighter than I can down here. <sighs> Last one. Wrists are gonna be fucking sore in the morning. Oh, you use the spine or <sighs> Oh, axle boots. What happening to you, baby? Twisting up. Just a little bit. Give me a pair of uh, hose pliers or something. The big drop pliers. The ones that have like the multiple different points on them. They might be in the third, the third drawer. Left side, there's a black and black pair probably. Yep. Any pliers will work. No matter. Somewhere. Maybe they're in the maybe they're in the red tool cart. They're probably in the red tool cart. Yep. Yep. These ones. Yeah. Right here you can grab onto to get more leverage. This takes the fucking pass. 